All right, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Tuesday night, December 30th, 2025, 9.52 p.m. That's California time. Uh, latest activity has another large earthquake over here across the northeastern area of California once again. This is in the Walker Lane Shear Zone outside of Susanville, right? This is not the same earthquake that struck here a couple days. This is a new, another five pointer coming in here originally remember this 4.7 that struck there two days ago came in as a five pointer this one's way up there though in the 5.3 range uh, so far the largest magnitude uh, let's see here a lot of my stations have gone offline suspiciously here for some reason including uh, what looks like all of California stations conveniently what is going on there um, let's see, where's my Barrett station? It looks like all of them are offline, so it's a little odd. It looks like they did downgrade this here to a 5.1. Either way, that's still the largest earthquake uh, in this sequence of events. Still underneath automatic status. Now, when we would, went back here and looked at the historical model, uh, there's been a 6.2 earthquake out here back in 1889. So now, uh, you know, we got... Two uh, moderate-sized earthquakes in an area that really doesn't get all that much movement. Of course, you know the Walker Lane out here, uh, supposedly millions of uh, millions of years down the road, could be the new plate boundary between the Pacific and the North American plate. So there will definitely be some adjustment going on out here. But you know, it, you don't get all this earthquake activity stirring up out here in Susanville. It's a little rare. Um, I do not feel this quake. I'm down here outside of Chico here in Northern California. Uh, if you did feel this earthquake, let me know. Let me know where you're at um, and what it felt like. Did they revise this back up to 5.3? Yes, they did. So it's going bouncing back and forth between a 5.1, 5.3. It could get, you know, revised even further. Still underneath automatic status review. Man, it's unfortunate that uh, we don't have any seismograph stations online. Uh, the Petrolia is offline. Anza is offline. Uh, let me see if I can get uh, at least a station popping up here because that's a little weird. We can't see, uh, you can't really see what's going on there. Where's the uh, Parkfield section down here? Let me see if we can find that real quick. Find a station. There's Parkfield right here. Let's see if that can uh, jump online here real quick. Shows trying to get data. I thought I just heard like a boom. Might be my imagination here. Uh, while it's trying to get data, we'll go back here and see if any folks are reported uh, this being felt. It does look like there was a shake alert sent out here uh, with a event magnitude of a, uh, let's see here, initial was 5.7. Uh, peak was 5.4. Final came out as a 5.3 magnitude. Here's some of the seconds out here in terms of the uh, the time you would get that alert message from the time you would feel some shaking. That's pretty decent there. You know, to have a 20 second, even a 10 second notification. Zero seconds there, probably around the Susanville area. But uh, that's an interesting quake here. You know, I do think something bigger is brewing out here across the uh, area. Let me see, park build up and running. Oh, all the seismograph stations are offline now. What is going on with that? You guys see that? <laughs> Every single seismograph station's offline. What is going on here? I'm having a lot of crazy negative stuff happening to me today. Um, and on the computer and, and elsewhere. But uh, that's a rather interesting earthquake there. I'm waiting to see if anyone uh, felt this earthquake. Did you feel it? Responses out there. A few folks coming in there. Looks like around Truckee and Reno area. Uh, the felt lines out here, with this being a 5.3, more than likely felt it down to Chico, even my neck of the woods here. I didn't. I didn't feel anything. Uh, I guess you'd have to be sitting pretty still though, uh, with no uh, movement to be able to feel maybe a rolling motion. I did not get any shake alert system here on my phone. Um, 
Uh, yeah, remember, it showed that it was just uh, pretty much up in this area of Northern California, but it does look like the contour shake lines uh, could have been felt down there to Redding, Chico area, Paradise, maybe even a Yuba City there. Once again, from a uh, another decent sized earthquake out there into northeastern California, the shear zone. Now, the shear zone out here, the Walker Lane shear zone, is a uh, fairly extensive area out here that covers eastern side here of the Sierra Nevada mountains and also the western area here of Nevada. And um, that uh, shear zone there accumulates and accounts for about 25% of the strain uh, that is produced there from the, uh, the, the two plate boundaries here. Right, about 25%. The 75% is over here along the San Andreas Fault. Um, I'm thinking here, you know, I could be wrong, but uh, I've been looking at these maps and stuff for quite a while that when we start seeing elevated activity here across the shear zone, that means that things are compressed and maximized out here across the plate boundary. Uh, remember that Ridgecrest earthquake activity back in 2019? That was actually out here in the shear zone as well, the southern end. And then we had a recent uh, six-pointer up here in Nevada. This would now be a northern section uh, showing some moderate to decent-sized earthquake activity up here. So I would definitely watch the plate boundary out here at San Andreas Fault. Uh, we all know that's very primed for some big earthquake activity. Uh, fault plane solution does look like it's on your typical strike slip boundary out there. Uh, 4.7 miles deep for that earthquake. Um, seismograph stations, some of them back online, but there's a bunch here that's just not working. I just got rid of one that was working. Um, so I may have to revise that. I got to find something that works out here to be able to see, um, what type of signal showed up there. Let me see what we got up here in Northern California. The Petroleum, let's try Pepperwood. I think that may work. Nope, even I'm well, trying to get data. No data, so go figure. A lot of the uh, stations out here are offline for some oddball reason. Thorn Junction. See if that one's going to work or not. Trying to get data as well, so. Wow. I, <laughs> you know, Normally I have the seismograph stations here to look at to see how big of a signal that is. Uh, but I'm certainly not going to see it on the Turkey or the Philippines station or Japan. So I'll have to work with this here uh, after this video update. But uh, for now, uh, another 5.3 earthquake. The other one, remember, a couple days ago got downgraded there from the 5.0 status, status to a 4.7. So this marks the largest earthquake so far. And there was a number of aftershocks in here as well. Um, it does have a little bit of migration here across the uh, mountain range to the southeast, it looks like. Um, 4.7, a bunch of twos, now 5.3. This could be leading to something much bigger out here. Now, the 1889 six-pointer that struck out here uh, happened before the Lassen volcano eruption there, which was 19... Uh, <clears throat> ooh. Early 19-something other. I can't remember the exact date on that. Uh, don't quote me. I think it was 1915, 1916. Um, Lassen right now, pretty quiet. Uh, this earthquake activity, I, I think, it ha it really doesn't have too much to do with the Lassen area. More so on the sheer side here, the eastern side of the Sierra Nevada Mountains, where the stress and the strain has been accumulating, uh, kind of warping this area. And it's... Uh, it's the result of the two plate boundaries out here. 5.3. Let me see. It uh, has been reviewed by an official seismologist there. So sticking at a 5.3, 4.7 kilometers deep there. Pretty shallow earthquake. Uh, really nothing coming in there as far as the, the map goes. Looks like most people around Reno, Truckee area reported it. Nobody in Susanville? You guys okay over there in Susanville? I mean, these earthquakes are getting bigger. 5.3 could do some damage there. Uh, I find that a little odd. No one in Susanville reporting that. Uh, I'm sure this will come in a little bit more as we uh, get some more data on this. But anyway, goodness. 
decent sized little event there. Let's take a look here at the Cascadia Trimmer event, see what we got going on for the uh, slow sip events out here tonight. We got 73 epicenters here underneath the southern coast of Oregon. That's the southern end of the Cascadia. Nothing big going on there for now. A couple earthquakes off the northern or in the northern California area. Bay Area, there's been a handful of earthquakes there. Um, this morning and this afternoon, nothing big. Southern California, as you can see there, just a little spotty throughout the area. Uh, looking at the global view of things, that's crazy, just sticking out like a sore thumb there. Uh, it does show a 5.0 on the EMSC data, but the official data here from the USGS uh, is showing a 5.3. So that's the official uh, magnitude there. Some further activity south of uh, Australia, southwest of New Zealand here. That, getting a lot of movement down here recently. Very minimal activity across New Zealand recently, so that's a little odd. Even got some movement up in Australia. Look at that number of, uh, oh, I'd say, moderate earthquakes up there. Not too often do you see a, almost a five-pointer. 3.7 in the mix there as well, so that's a little odd. Got some... Uh, adjustment happening around here with very like i said very minimal activity across new zealand i would watch that closely here with all the movement happening crazy deep activity into the prue chili trench nothing bigger happening there yet the atlantic ocean pretty quiet quick glance here at space weather activity on this uh, tuesday night shows uh fairly quiet conditions they still have a 25 percent chance there for x flare up i am not for sure why uh, I think it was uh, one of these sunspots that are now no longer visible uh, because really I don't see anything that shows a uh, uh, or warrants a uh, significant X flare like that. This area up here might produce some M flare, but uh, I don't see anything of any X flare nature out there. Uh, Aurora activity may be here in the coming nights, but I don't think so because of the high speed solar wind stream that was flowing from number 10 here, the Corona Hole. It's just a very tiny spot with a northward point on it. Uh, so more than likely that's going to miss Earth, but we'll see here, uh, I think, tomorrow night. Um, and also, real quick here, folks, uh, if you didn't hear, I uh, I started up here an important GoFundMe for my dog here. I, I normally don't ask for some help, but this is pretty important. Uh, my dog uh, comes to find out now, it looks like he's got a blockage going on. Uh, he's got emergency surgery going in tomorrow. Uh, so he's overnight there at the vet, surgery first thing in the morning. Um, and I don't know exactly what he ate. Um, he has been having a lot of chicken treats here, like chicken jerky. Um, so maybe he's eating too much of that without um, bringing in, you know, moisture content from that, that dry meat. Uh, so I definitely will have to cut that out. I'll find out more information tomorrow after the surgery and everything. But, man, this is... Uh, uh, definitely was not prepared for some type of emergency vet bill like this. And the, the folks have donated out here, 62 people. Uh, man, I'm super grateful for everyone donating out here. Uh, we're at halfway. I believe we're at halfway. Let me see if we, this has gone up. Any, we're past halfway right now, so 65 donations there. Um, and if this, uh, if this doesn't get used completely, I'm, I'm pretty certain, though, that it probably will, considering surgery with vets are really expensive. Um, but when it comes out to the bill, if there's remainder of whatever's left here, um, I will refund that or I will personally donate um, to a charity. Uh, and more than likely, we'll, we'll use a, a charity that uh, has uh, uh, benefits animals out there. I think that would be a good way to... Uh, donate uh, if there's anything left from that so i'm just letting you guys know and anyway i appreciate everyone uh if you can help donate please do even if it's 10 20 bucks uh man it's very helpful um if if you can't i understand maybe share that uh, if you could that gofundme account i'll include that here in this update video so i appreciate it uh got me pretty worried there with my dog he he uh hasn't been able to go to the bathroom um really not eating or drinking anything he's trying to drink stuff but whenever he drinks water uh, it comes up there and it has like some type of green uh, mucus stuff and uh, from what i hear is not 
poison, which is good. Um, but the blockage there could be very life-threatening if it's not taken care of immediately. So that's going to be uh, worked on here first thing in the morning. But I will keep you guys updated. Uh, in the meantime, please stay safe out there. Decent size event, you know, 6.2 6 struck out here well over 100 and, uh, 136 years ago. Um, pretty crazy. Interesting earthquake activity out there for sure. We'll watch this and uh, report back on anything. If you felt it, please let me know where you're at, what it felt like. Uh, maybe if you got an earthquake early alert notification system on your phone. Uh, and by the way, you should definitely download that if you live out here uh, anywhere along the West Coast. It's called My Shake. It's simply that, My Shake. And you'll see it. It's free. Uh, it, uh, it, you know, it sends out uh, early alert notifications when there's an earthquake in your area that you'll probably feel. Uh, that gives you some time, you know, 10 seconds, 20 seconds there, depending on your location. Uh, I think it's a, a definitely a good app and a must to have on your phone. All right. All um, right. And I'll try and get these uh, seismograph stations up and running. It looks like they're all offline, so I may have to do a reset on this. Anyway, folks, um, appreciate all your positive thoughts there on my dog, Chomper. He's been uh, with us for six years, and, uh, you know, it's a little scary there. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping and um, hoping everything will work out tomorrow here. Have a good night, folks. We'll see you guys out here in the morning um, for the... Let's see here... It's going to be Wednesday. I've just been out of whack here today with everything going on. Wednesday morning update. Take care. Have a good one.